Okay, guys. So now let's talk more about React Router. So in this session, we're going to talk about what exactly is Router, which basically means that it allows us to control the linking between multiple pages. By default, React does not include uh, linking with the multiple pages. Okay, so you have like home page and you have about page and you have like show pages, you know, multiple pages, and we click on them and then we can easily switch. Technically, React was built to create a one single page layout structure. But uh, we come across uh, multiple scenarios where we need to have multiple web pages linked together. So in order to do that, link multiple web pages together, we will be using something called React Router. And that's the only best possible way of actually connecting multiple pages within the same single, single frame. Okay. So I will be demonstrating the whole complete website as well separately after this lesson as well. So do, go, do keep and watch this and then subscribe. If you still haven't subscribed, please do subscribe because uh, it helps us a lot. Uh, leave your comments and feedback. And let me know how well you are learning, what exactly you're learning. Um, I will be posting a few more videos on this as well. And then there are a few more projects that we build with React, which will be again amazing for you to understand and learn. Okay. So without further ado, let's begin. So what exactly we mean by create router? As I mentioned, the React um, app basically does not allow you to link multiple pages together by default. Okay. Which because it means that it's actually using components to render the component on a single web page. Its primarily purpose was to create a single web page layout. But if you are using a multi -page, multiple page layout, you would be using something called the React router, which is the most popular solution currently. Okay. So how do we start with that? The first thing is you will need to use the React router or you will need to add the React router library to your project folder. To do that, you would be using npm i minus the React router DOM. So make sure you run this command in your VS Code terminal to include React Router into your NPM project. Okay. Once you do that, it should be all okie dokie. Then the second thing you need to follow along is understanding the folder structure. Folder structure means that to create an application with multiple page routes, let's first start with the file structure. So within the SRC folder, we will create a folder name called pages and then sev with several files. So what we are doing is that in VS Code, again, I had already showed you in my previous video and in next videos, I will be showing it to you. Links in the description or you can click on the eye icon somewhere. Um, you can find out the latest videos on this project as well that explains the folder structure much more in detail. Okay. So once you go inside the React folder, we have SRC where all our major folder structure, uh, major files are. Inside this, we create another folder called pages. And then we put all these extra pages inside this folder. It can be JSX. I typically use JSX in my examples. Uh, in my other videos, you might find that I've used JSX a lot, uh, but you can use a pure simple JavaScript files as well. So layout.javascript, home.javascript, blogs.javascript, contact, and no page. These are five pages that we create inside this pages folder. So each file will contain a very basic React component. Okay. So the basic usage, now we will use our router in our index.js file. So this index becomes our main root file. In this, we use something called router. How does the router does? We use an import statement. We say browser router, routes, and route from the React DOM. So what we are doing now here is we are importing, in other words, three different things from our React router DOM library. Okay. So from the DOM library, we are importing three things. First is called browser router. Second is called routes. And the third is called route itself. Okay. So these three things are needed in order to ensure that you can easily link multiple pages together. So the linking in React is actually called routes. If that makes sense. Okay. Then we go on and we import all our components in our web page. Okay. So we import the layout, we import the home, we import the blog, we import the contacts and we import the no page. All these five pages are imported from their relevant paths. So do make sure you use the correct path here. Do note that to, in order to make sure you use the correct path, we use dot and backslash. Means from the current SRC folder, go inside a folder called dot pages. Then inside these pages, you will find a layout file. We import that layout file here in this name. Then same dot backslash means from my current folder, there's another folder called pages. Move inside this pages folder. Inside the pages folder, you will find a file called home. Import that home file and so on and so forth okay once you do that import then we use the browser routes so the first thing is we tell our component 
that we will be using something called browser route. Uh, okay, this will ensure and tell that hey, this these are basically the links. Okay, um, again, this is what we call we are creating the links here. All other components don't need to be inside the browser router. They can be somewhere else as well. The headings, the paragraphs, they are actually not the part of a browser router. So in this example, this is typically using browser router for the links that we create. All other components within your web page will actually be outside of the browser router. Then browser router needs another XML based tag called routes. Means that again, what routes we're going to take. Within this, we will use a route tag. Now, if you note in HTML, we use anchor tags. So because we are using React, we are using the route tag. And it's encapsulated inside the routes, again encapsulated inside the browser router. This is one way of doing it. Next class, I will show you a few other ways of doing it in a real project inside the VS Code. So do check it out, subscribe and follow along. You will find another way of doing it as well in my next videos. In this case, we are just simply using the basic default structure that W3Schools is recommending to us. So this is like an anchor tag. We define the path. So instead of H reference in anchor tag, we are using the path variable. And then we are using the element is equals to layout which basically is the text that we write between. Okay, so this is how basically we say. So we have again the route tag, the path is the blogs, which again the page we imported, the element is the blogs page URL. <coughs> okay, so this will, <coughs> excuse me, this will actually render the blogs text and then link it with the blogs page and route it through this three tags. Okay, so the anchor tag is there. The H reference part is the path part actually. The text that is to be displayed is actually this contact part. So element is equals to expression contact. This will create the contact page. Okay. So that's how the default link will be created. If you execute this page, now you will see that we have three pages available. Okay. So we have a home page, which is our home page. We have our uh, uh, blogs page. We have our contact page. So if I click on blogs, the blogs article page is loaded. If I click on home, home page is loaded. If I click on contact, the contact page is loaded. So these three pages are loaded by default. Again, this is a route no page. So the no page link is there. So there's no page, just the default three pages are defined. So this is how the router uh, simply anchor tag tends to work. <clears throat> okay, so whenever you need to re render the contents, you basically use browser route. You define the tags and where this element is going to be rendered out. We define the tags inside it. Simple as that. Okay. So this is how our routes tend to work. So it tries to explain it a little bit more. So we wrap our content first with the browser router. Then we define our routes and application and have a multiple routes. Our basic example only uses the one single route. The route tag itself can be nested. The first route has path backslash and renders a layout component. Okay. So it renders the layout component onto our main page. The nested routes is inherit and adds to the parent route. So the blogs path is combined with the parent and becomes a blogs. Okay. The home component routes does not have the path but has an index attribute. That specifies the route as a default route for the parent route which is backslash. The setting path to steric will act as a catch all for any undefined URLs which is great for 404 errors. So if any user tries to access a page that is actually not there, we will route this to steric to this particular path here. So we have a route as main and these all routes are actually nested inside the main route. Backslash represents the main layout page. Inside this, we have home blogs contact and then no page layout. Means that if I enter any invalid URL, having the base URL correct, Instead of showing me 404 page, it's going to show me the no page in the structure. Okay, so this path backslash refers to the main current layout document page, which is again this one. So the, this is how it's structuring it. So the pages components. So the layout component has an outlet and a link element. The outlet renders the current route selected, and the link is used to select the URL and keep track of the browsing history. Anytime we link to an internal path, we will use the link instead of an AH reference page. So anytime you want to use AH reference, you would use actually a link path. 
the layout route is shared component that inherits common content on all pages such as navigation menu so this is another way of doing it so the layout js that we talked about this main layout page is this is we talking about that as well so this layout component has few things inside it what it has it has something called outlet and a link tag again imported from the router library package then we create the layout the page design again function start arrow function bracket start return value the root component we have a nav tag we have a unordered tag we create a list item so instead of using now the anchor h reference tag we are using the link tag so instead of providing this h reference in our main layout again as i said there are a few ways of doing it so this is the second thing that we do so we are using the link to backslash home link so instead of using h reference path we are actually using a link tag and then in a simple english terms it says hey link to backslash means my current folder then link to backslash blogs means my blogs page link to contact means links to my contact page okay how about the home.js the home.js page actually again has a simple constant home component bracket star bracket close arrow function arrow function close it has a return statement and h1 home that's why whenever we come here we click on home it's actually rendering the home component so this is the main layout the layout has a child node called home the child node renders the component directly on itself on the home tag the blogs again has h1 blogs attribute a separate page so when i click on the blogs it's rendering the blogs article because we have h1 blogs article then we go inside the contact page we again have a return contact me so when i click on the contact it returns the contact and then at the same time we have no page.js which again if there's an error 404 will return so if we enter an invalid url it will take us to 404 error okay so we create four pages we have a layout page that actually organizes this whole main layout and then we use these route paths okay these things here to control how the routing is actually being done which component is displayed and when user clicks on a particular link that's how simply the routes tend to work a more practical example of this again this is one of w3 schools of how they use it um i prefer, i like it i understand the things if you understand the follow that hey in order to create the links you will be using this routes and then within one main page you will create a layout and then you will be using a link to tab perfect with that but if you follow on my channel I have already posted uh, and I will be posting few more more uh, full projects of how we cre uh, creating a full complete website with react having multiple pages and I explain a more easier and simpler way of doing it so that will make more sense so do follow along check out my next video hopefully I will put the description link in the description as soon as it's live if it's not already there and you can find it in the description or in the last video here so click on this uh, on the right side of your screen and you can find this two latest projects that will explain how their linking and the complete react project is working and how we build a react project from absolute scratch with these multiple web pages and reacts okay thank you for watching